So, on the 1st of March, myself and a friend of mine were in an abandoned warehouse just outside Glasgow, watching machines that flip, machines that tear, and machines that crush. We were there to watch the pilot episode of Robot Wars being filmed in Renfrew. And it was pretty cool, if I do say so myself. Now, you're gonna need a bit of backstory to this. Um, I have loved Robot Wars since I was a kid. Uh, basically, as long as it has been on TV, I have adored it. Um, there is actually a ludicrous number of just like little snippets and facts that I could give you about it. But this is what I wanted to talk about, uh, Robot Wars this week, because it was something that I was gonna make a video about this series anyway, and then it was announced that it was coming back. Uh, and I didn't believe it at first, because I was just like, oh yeah, no, this is the internet being like, oh yeah, this is getting brought back, and then the BBC press office was like, yeah, it's getting brought back, and I was like, mm. Nostalgia rabies. Basically, we're in a warehouse for a few hours in the morning, and we didn't actually get to see much, just because it was the pilot and they were using it to kind of like get all the technical equipment and the presentation side of things down. It was basically a dry run that we were watching. We were initially supposed to meet the new Matilda, but we ended up meeting the new Dead Metal instead. And he looks pretty cool. He's sort of like Dead Metal crossed with Goku now. Unfortunately, like a Muppet, I didn't record anything while I was there. Mainly because I've got this camera on me and it's huge and it wouldn't have been as um, inconspicuous as, say, a telephonic communicator. But... I seem to be the only person who obeyed the rule of please don't video this because it is all over Instagram. If you want to see what the new house robots look at, like, you only need to go on Twitter or Instagram or the general internet. They are bringing back four of the house robots, so they're bringing back Shunt, Matilda, Sir Killalot, and Dead Metal. So a lot of you are like, well, what the hell did Sergeant Bash do? Um, well, not a lot is the problem. Um, I don't know, how many of you remember the last time Sergeant Bash was a good house robot? You're all thinking about D at all now. I know you are. I know full well you are. Uh, apparently they applied to go into this and then nothing actually came of it, which is fucking gutting because they were my favourite robot ever. The game has always been rigged. Uh, let's just throw that one out there now. Um, it has always been primarily entertainment more than it has been genuine sport. Quite controversially, I quite liked Rethbot when they introduced him because the idea was that he made the arena fairer. It didn't work, because, um, you know, when the producers were kind of like, no, we want this to happen, they found a way to make it happen. Um, one of the more infamous ones is there was a mayhem battle in Robot Wars Extreme, and I can't remember the other two machines that were in it, but Killatron, which was a semi-finalist from series... Anyway, it's basically a bin lid on wheels with a pickaxe. That's, you probably know it to hear it. And Killatron had basically won the battle. So the producers didn't like that, so what they did was they got Sir Killalot to pick it up and just dump it in the pit. The arena looks really cool. Um, it's The primary color scheme is red this time. I like that they've basically made the walls taller. Um, just to make it more of a challenge to actually throw something out of the arena again because it had kind of gotten almost sort of a jokey kind of a thing towards the end of the series where it's like, this isn't even a barrier, why is it here? You might as well just have a lip and then just shove them off the side. The flipper's shit. Um, I don't know if they've ramped up the power of it since, but the flipper when we saw it was rubbish. It was sort of like the series 3 version back in the 90s, uh, which kind of just went, ugh. Um, and then, you know, as time's gone on, the floor flip has gotten a lot more powerful. So we were like, oh, well, this is the most powerful ever, according to the commentator, and then it was just like, ugh. Um, I could talk about this forever. Um, comment down below what your favourite Robot Wars event or time or robot... What, what was your favourite house robot? Let's go with that. Um, I always had a soft spot for Shunt. Don't know why, he was rubbish. But I always had a soft spot for Shunt. Anyway, talk about Robot Wars. Um, I am going to also upload all the footage that we had from the day that we went to Renfrew and upload that as a bonus video. Uh, so you're going to get two in one. Just because as I'm recording this, I'm realising there is limited opportunities to use the footage. So, fuck it, you can have two videos. Sound fair? Good. Thought you'd like that. So, um, Robot Wars. I will see you next Saturday. Tough watching.